process for this job. It's just so boring, you know? I mean, you're stuck in an office for six hours, watching for something to happen. It's insane that you even get money for that. Anyways, did you know that there's something special about the animatronics here? Um, they're the first ever animatronics built with free roam features that don't fail every ten seconds. The feature is now, eh? They're also the first that were built with advanced AI. In fact, they're so advanced you might think a soul is inside controlling everything. Uh, now, concerning the animatronics, um, our recent guard reported that the animatronics... Yeah, they've been moving during the night for some reason. He said that the closest they got to him was the hall in front of him. Heck, they even tried to climb in the vents. After that, they just... stare. After hearing that, we've started taking some measures. Our engineers put blocking systems on the vents, which is pretty easy to access through the camera. But don't shut too many vents, though. Um, we've noticed that the blocking system seems to block the incoming air as well. Your vision's going to become all dark and blurry. Trust me, it's not going to be good for you. Yeah, the building isn't that well ventilated, as you can probably tell. Now, in case that the animatronics ever get in your door, you can turn off the lights in your office, as long as you're not too late. They'll think that there is no person inside, and, uh, I think you get the point. If you look over to your left, you'll see a vent that lets air into your office. We've tested the animatronics on certain light conditions, and it seems that they, um, reboot their system and go back to their respective places once you shine a really bright light into their eyes. Um, except for that other one. So in case there's an animatronic in your left vent, you can just shine your light on it, and it'll go away momentarily. Now, if you look to your right, however, you'll see a big window. That window leads to our parts of service room. She's supposed to be together with Twirly, the girl on Cam 9, but she isn't acting right recently. Sometimes she's singing and sometimes she's just not responding. So our solution is to put her near the window so you can calm her down using the flashlight. It's really hard to catch her once she gets away. She crawls in one of the three vents near her, and blocking her gets really painful. Literally. Now remember, seal a vent if absolutely necessary. You don't want to pass out, do you? Oh, I almost forgot. We blew a fuse this morning in Yum's party room. Can you check that out before you go? I'm sure the animatronics won't cause you any danger at that time. Alright, good night. Hello, hello. Hey there. How's it going? Um, I forgot to tell you about that one animatronic that doesn't seem to deal well with the flashlight. He's called Popo, the kid in blue on Camp 4. If he happens to be at the vent in your office, just don't flash your light at him. Somehow it becomes more aggressive toward bright lights. So it's important to not confuse him with the other one on Camp 3. He's called Young, by the way. Uh, your task for today is to repair the water pipes. The maintenance panel is located in Twirly Shoes. You'll know where to go from there. Alright, good night. Hello, hello. Um, uh, I'll just drop by and fill you in with your tasks, because I know how much more aggressive these guys become when the week progresses. Can you fix the monkey bars at Popo's Playroom? Our maintenance guy didn't show up today. The screws are a bit loose. We don't want any lawsuits now, do we? Uh, also, has Jollibee ever moved away from the stage? I'm sure he wouldn't, I'm just checking. <laughs> do you know that these characters are just based off of the old ones? There are just too many of them that the company just had to pluck some out. There were eight, I think. They weren't that kid-friendly either. The design's just awful. Alright, enough trivia time. Get back to work. Good night. Hello, hello! Hey, good job, night four. Um, our janitor didn't show up today, so... Just mop the floor in Jollibee's room. It gets really nasty in there in the morning. Ugh, really nasty. One time we found Popo with vomit all over it. It's crazy to think that parents don't even check on their children when they're in here. Alright, I'll just leave everything to you now. Good night.
never notice. Our old guy went silent for some reason. Must have found a better job. Alright, you already know how everything works, so I'll just leave it all to you now. I really appreciate it that you even thought of coming back.